Hello, hello everyone, and uh, it's my pleasure to share with you some of these tips. OET reading. I always notice that there's always a challenge that most people face when we get to the multiple choice questions. This is part B and part C. And this short audio is all about what you can do about the MCQs. Let me bring this to your awareness that when you're doing OET reading, part B and part C will have the three choices, A, B, and C. And sometimes, maybe you'd agree with me that it's a bit sad and very sorry when you find someone who has paid for this exam for all the amount that it goes for. They've paid a tutor like myself and they've performed so well in all the other areas. But reading has let them down because Part B and Part C became a bit tricky. And this person says, I really don't know how I messed up because I believe I picked the right choices. And when the results come, things are not that good. So what's the trick anyway? When you read the questions in Part B and Part C, Try this method, and I've seen it work with so many of my students. Read the question, underline the keywords, and get to understand exactly what the question is asking. After you do that, read the three choices. Choice A, choice B, and choice C. And please listen to the following. Here is where the problem lies. You find most people read and they clearly don't seem to figure out what the information could be based on what was in the passage. My advice to all my students is make sure you understand the difference between what each choice is suggesting based on what the question is asking. And when that difference is very clear in your mind, that's the time you turn to the excerpt or the paragraph or the passage that has been provided. And what do you do then? Go to the passage and look for the specific information that reflects to what the question is asking. And once you've read and located it in the passage, verify the two choices that are not saying the same thing and eliminate them one after the other. Once you do that, you'll be left with the correct answer. And that choice is what then could be taken to be the correct answer. Allow me to bring this to your attention that never read the question, read the choices, go to the passage, read through, and decide, ah, choice A, B, or C, this is the right answer. The moment you do that, you are likely to become a victim of what's known as a distractor. On the choice that's meant to trick you, and many people have fallen victim of this, pick it as a result of not understanding how 
the distractor does not answer what the question was asking. At the same time, there's another choice that has totally nothing to do with the question and the passage. And the information could even be outrightly wrong. That's the wrong choice. You could start by spotting that one and eliminate it. Once you do that, you'll be left with the correct answer and the distractor. And here is the catch. The distractor is always wrong based on what the question is asking. But the information about the distractor and what it's talking about can also be found in the passage or in the paragraph. And once you do that, you are able to pick the correct answer without becoming a victim of the distractor. For this and much more on these same things to do with OET, IELTS, TOEFL, feel free to get in touch with me, Teacher Joseph. And my telephone number is 0722242906. For those who could be getting this audio outside the country, then you could use the code plus 254722906. Nine zero six. I've been teaching OET for so many years, since the year 2012, and I'm very proud of so many of my students who have made it not only in the first sitting, but have also secured jobs in places like UK, Canada, United States, Australia, and during and after the training, I always go by the learner space. At the same time, our training period is flexible. Whether you take two weeks, whether you take a month, three months, my contract with you ends the moment you get your OET results and you've made it. Teacher Joseph, wishing you the best. For contacts, Feel free to get in touch with me on the telephone number once more zero seven two 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 four two nine zero six. 